Though we are on hiatus, we really need to talk about Lil Miss Effie Morales, who is currently in custody with Jenny and Blanca and Agent Medina breathing down her neck to flip on the organization, potentially save herself so that they can bring this Rico home. What's good, y'all? It's your good sister Erica Van coming to you right here on Erica Van TV with another Power Book 2 Ghost video. And in this video, as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about Effie, but specifically, is she going to flip on Tariq? Now, I'm going to break down all of the things that are happening currently in the series, the reasons why I feel like she will or she won't, and then tell you exactly what I predict at the very end of the video. Be sure to watch till the end. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my Power Book 2 Ghost videos. I have new videos dropping every single day with dope ass conversations that y'all gonna wanna have with me, right? I'm dropping dope ass content for real, for real. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free at any point in the video to drop down in the comment section. Put a little timestamp on there when you do so it's a little easier for me to get back to you and know exactly what you're talking about. But tell me what your thoughts, theories, predictions are. If you think I might have got it wrong, go ahead and tell me with that timestamp. Like, nah, E, maybe this is what this means. Because this is a conversation over this content, right? And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So the first thing I want to talk about specifically when it comes to Effie is the is the woman scorned narrative. Because the worst part about Effie getting hemmed up right now for the attempted murder of Lauren is that Tariq took her ass to the reservoir, left her there, drove off in the Lambo, made her walk home and dumped her. And not only that, he dumped her after she had already realized that she was falling in love with him. And that's not all, kids. Not only did he do this, which maybe she can explain away just in reference to him being mad and having loved Lauren. And, he, and she definitely understood the love that he had for Lauren. He also took his goofy ass back to campus and slept with Diana on the night of her father's repast. And then the very next morning when she shows up to potentially save herself financially and go into business with Diana, he drops a bomb on her by just hitting her with the hey Effie because he just smashed Diana that night before. If there's any reason reason why <laughs> Effie would say anything I feel like it would be this one just out of spite just to get her lick back now while I don't actually trust Effie Morales while I think that she is very disloyal very selfish very self-serving and opportunistic I don't necessarily know if she's this yes we did see her try to take down the whole frat no cap organization because she was mad Kane had to stop her but I don't necessarily know if she's going to go to the police because of a breakup, right? So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the next reason why she might actually flip on Tariq. And that's just because Kane is telling her to. In the episode nine trailer, we get to see a visual of Kane dressed up as somebody's lawyer and or Poindexter sitting across from Effie in an interrogation room telling her to flip on Tariq because he is who they want. Never mind the fact that everybody's implicated uh, Kane, so it won't just be Tariq, but he actually believes that this is what she should do to save herself. And she's actually hearing him out. In the trailer, we don't actually get to see her respond. I feel like she's looking like she's not necessarily convinced. However, Things go left and they tend to, to manipulate the trailers in a certain way to make it look one way and it actually be another. Okay, so that was reason number two. The third and final reason why she would actually flip on Tariq is simply because she needs to save herself. She's going to get offered an immunity deal in reference to the attempt on Lauren's life. And in exchange for that, she has to provide detailed information about her involvement in the drug organization, as well as mapping out all of the key players, specifically Tariq St. Patrick and Monet Tejada. She's going to have to point fingers. She's going to have to name names and she will be able to walk away scot-free. So in all honesty, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. She could get out of here scot-free if she just go ahead and turn to Reek and ultimately the Tejadas in. However, one, Effie might be built to snitch to get ahead at Choke, but I don't necessarily know if she's built like this on this larger scale level. And then also, it's not necessarily fully clear that she will be able to walk away scot-free. Shout out to me in this drawing, y'all, because I was like literally trying to work it out in my head of like, what is the fallout if she actually does decide to snitch? 
So we know that um, Jenny and Blanca have Tariq and Monet pinned as the queen, queen pin and king pin. Shout out to Whitman who got Monet at the top of this damn chart as well. I'm gonna put Effie on here as a glorified soldier <laughs> slash girlfriend. And basically when it comes down to the whole conversation about hanging Lauren's attempted murder over Effie so that she can um, basically rat on Tariq, I think it's a little bit more complicated than this. And Jenny will have to bend over backwards to really make it stick because while, yes, Effie could say that she attempted to kill Lauren because Tariq commanded her to. What about the part of the story that includes Brayden? What about the part of the story where Effie takes Lauren from Brayden when Brayden was actually trying to get Lauren out of town? In so much of this, there's a lot of he said, she said, and yes, witnesses actually matter. But when you have a counter witness such as Brayden Weston, who has already gone on trial or testify in a trial and admitted to criminal activities that also sullies the water when it comes to Jenny and her case because he's taken a bullet for Tariq before and he could actually step up and speak to this um speak to what actually happened if Effie, Effie decided to flip on Tariq fact of the matter it's Lauren's word against Effie's there is no actual video proof um, if she decides not to flip, then they will have to go to trial and Jenny would literally have to prove that Effie attempted to murder, uh, Lauren. Um, Effie's record is pretty much spotless and Sax made this point when he was pointing out that she would be the one to flip and they busted Lauren for drugs that Bruchantria left in her room. So that leaves Lauren to be a less reliable witness than Effie would if they actually went to trial and just had to go off of he said, she said. And that is not even taking into account the fact that Brayden can speak to additional context about what went down in reference to Lauren's attempted murder. Now, if she does flip, she would literally need to lie and I know that they don't use lie detector tests that are not admissible in court. However, that's something that could come up and that Davis could, sequest, uh, could subpoena. And that could be information that he don't use in court, but he could use against them. And as I mentioned, Braden could testify against her, not only for the Lauren thing, but tying her to the additional drug business. And then ultimately, she built this new drug business in reference to the coding for, for no cap all frat. And she would ultimately, to make any of this stick, she would ultimately have to admit to being a soldier within Tariq's organization. And then she would have to outline the entire organization, which still implicates her. So while Jenny could set her free on some type of immunity type deal, that could open her up for federal charges in a different way. Similar to how they did Tasha in season one. And then aside from that, y'all... Effie knows the drugs, but other than that, she only knows what Tariq has actually told her, which comes back to he said, she said, and or hearsay in the court of law. She can repeat what she is told in reference to, oh, he killed his dad. Oh, he killed Ray Ray. However, she actually has no proof. Unlike Tariq, who y'all have mentioned on numerous occasions in the comment section, and you're right. He has a recording of her admitting to being behind Lauren's attempted murder under her own volition. But Jenny don't know about that and neither does Effie. While it might seem like the move to go ahead and flip and get out the game, turn Tariq in, basically cost the entire organization their livelihood and send everybody to jail. I don't actually think that Effie is going to do this because in addition to her having to out herself in reference to her involvement within this criminal organization, um, she would lose her only way of being able to pay for school. Kane going to jail so he can't pay no more tuitions, uh, no more semesters of school, girl. And neither can Tariq. And yes, they're all going to jail behind this, not just Tariq. But then also, she ultimately wants to go to Stanford to study robotics. And do you think that Stanford is letting in a former drug dealer and violent crimes of, uh, offender? Because while she's not getting prosecuted for Lauren's attempted at murder, it's still going to be there. You Google her name, it's going to be there. What really irritated me most is not necessarily the conundrum that Effie finds herself in and to flip or not to flip. It's really just seeing in the trailer how Kane breaks in. Okay, I'm being dramatic. He doesn't break into the damn jail. But he goes to the jail posing as her lawyer just to tell her to flip on Tariq as if nobody else will be affected. Everybody gets implicated. Tariq goes down, Monet, Monet goes down. And by now, I would think that 
Kane actually knows that Monet is implicated and tied to it. And if Monet is implicated, then they are all implicated as well. I mentioned this in my breakdown, but it was just so short sighted of Kane to do this. And I don't know if he's acting based off of love and oh, if you just save yourself, everybody will be okay. We'll figure it out. Or if he really just doesn't know, regardless, he needs to get his goofy ass up out of that jail. Stop giving Effie horrible ass advice that ultimately is going to come back to bite her, not just him. And we need to get to episode nine. But we still have a whole nother week and a half before we can do so. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I am voting that Effie is not actually going to flip. She might come close, but her ass is not going to do it. And shout out to Jenny, who's going to be hella frustrated behind it. But I would love to know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think that she's going to actually turn on Tariq and the entire organization? Is she truly the rat that we have known her to be? Let me know your thoughts, theories, and predictions down below. It's your good sis you love to talk TV with. Talking Power Book 2 Go Season 3 with y'all. See y'all tomorrow for another dope video.